welcome back everybody this is Sarah with Exploration Creations and I have another travel sketchbook tour for you that I may or may not have been putting off since September. <laughs> the last two were Moleskine sketchbooks. This one's actually a handmade sketchbook um, by Jusco Sketching on Etsy. Uh, he also made this uh, sketchboard. So this was part of my Christmas present last year. Um, I use the sketchboard all the time. Uh, you can use it with any sketchbook, but I also got a handmade sketchbook from him, and so that's what this one is. Um, so it's, I think, I wrote it down, I think, um, I think it's Sanderson watercolor paper? I think. Don't know. Uh, but it's a handmade sketchbook off of Etsy uh, by Jusco Sketching. Um, and uh, I want to show it to you. So this is actually one of my stickers. Um, or at least it's my artwork on a sticker. <laughs> um, and then uh, this is from May to September of 2023. And we will get right in. So it's a little bit smaller than the Moleskine sketchbooks, as you can see. Uh, so it's a little bit thinner, but it opens up to about the same, like, length. Well, I guess it's a little bit smaller. Uh, so you can see that there's a, a difference there. Uh, so it was smaller, which was a little bit of a challenge. And then because it's actual watercolor paper, not just uh, moleskins, whatever kind of paper, um, it did take a little while to get used to it. Uh, a couple things here. Uh, this front page, I guess. Uh, but these are all uh, the artwork from Jesco Sketching. Uh, so I didn't do any of those. Uh, I do have a couple stickers on here. Uh, this one's from the Japanese Gardens uh, that I sketched at in this book. And then this is just uh, an Exploration Creation sticker. Follow me on Instagram. And all of that good stuff. <laughs> um, and then I'm just covering up my address here. So we'll jump right in. At the beginning of this sketchbook, um, because of the way that I've been doing travel sketching um, in general, uh, I really focused on this line work, but it's a cold pressed watercolor paper. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see things a little bit better. Um, it's a cold pressed watercolor paper, so the ink lines just weren't laying down well. Uh, so I did struggle with that for a little bit, but here's a blooming uh, tree in a parking lot. We've got a car off to the side. Um, and then this one's, at, well, you know what? This one's in my backyard, uh, so it's just one of the plants out there. Just trying to get used to the paper, really. So you can see that it's a lot sketchier up here, and then that I was forcing these ink lines. Um, and, like, it looks good. Just maybe not my favorite. Um, and then, uh, this summer we spent uh, time going out and, uh, you know, just sitting around and painting. So this is at one of our local parks. Uh, we sat here for about an hour and a half. Um, and I really like how this turned out. So you've got detail here and then kind of not as much. Um, and then I went on a work trip and sat down next to the Mississippi River in St. Louis for about an hour. And this is what I came up with <laughs> and I hate it. Um, it's... It just wasn't what I was used to getting out of the Moleskine sketchbooks. Uh, and I really struggled with that for a while. Um, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> because this would have been fantastic otherwise. Um, but I think I figured it out. <laughs> I went out to uh, a botanic gardens. And this took me quite a lot longer than I would like for a travel sketch. I actually filmed some of this and then never actually posted it anywhere. <laughs> it was awkward, um, but you can see just like the difference. I was really relying on the line work here versus actually relying on the paint here, um, and going back and trying to get these like deep shadows. Uh, so I think I finally figured out at this point how to use this particular sketchbook. Um, this is a car sketch, and I love the way it kind of fades off here. Like, I focused really heavily over here, and then it just kind of fades off as, you know, I was running out of time. Um, and then it's got some, you know, foreground ink elements 
and I like the way this one turned out. Um, so we've got some contrast here. One of the things that I worked on pretty hard in this sketchbook because of the lack of pen line uh, crutch, I guess, that I had, um, was the contrast and trying to keep a lot of the whites, create some of the depth in the back. Um, and I think by the end of this, I really liked it. Um, so this is another park sketch. Uh, we were sitting in one of those like sheltered things. Uh, it was miserably hot this day. Uh, this is one of the ones where I didn't quite get the deepness of the forest in the background that I really would have liked. Um, it was raining and I was sitting in the car and so I painted the inside of the car. <laughs> um, and I love the way it turned out actually. So I, I kept it really simple with the colors and you know most of the interior of this car is black anyway so it, it helped. Um, and then these are my husband's hats. Uh, they are in most of my sketches at this point. Uh, and they're also mostly black, so that helped. Um, then we've got uh, the church we go to had uh, uh, origami doves hanging uh, over, I don't know, when was this? Uh, June? So over the summer. Um, and I love this, the shadows they cast, uh, and I really wanted to do that. So I, I drew this and put in Tombow, uh, like just a water-based marker here for the shadows, and then came back and colored it uh, with some watercolor later. Um, this is in San Diego. Uh, so I sat on, there's like a retaining wall almost. I sat on the retaining wall um, and painted this. You've got the little uh, navy ships out in the, the foreground, and then I just drew people as they kind of walked by, which was, <laughs> so none of these people were here at the same time, but um, I thought it, it definitely needed those people. And I really disliked this when I painted it, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. Uh, so we've got like the, the white highlights still, we've got some shadowy kind of figures. It tells a good story, and it has that like foreground, middle ground, background concept. Really think it turned out well. This, um, and I'm gonna zoom out for those. Hang on, you still can't see it. Oh well. Uh, this is one of my favorite sketches in the entire book. Uh, so we've got the the daylilies. This is July, um, and it was raining. This telephone pole is tilted. Um, but from the angle that I was looking at it, it still looked kind of straight, but you've got the, you can see that the, the rain was only hitting one side of it, um, and it just, it looks so good. <laughs> um, it's hands down my favorite. You can see that there's some negative painting here in the background, um, and we'll zoom in so you can see it better. Um, so you've got some negative painting here in the background. You've got kind of the those edges around the uh, daylilies. Um, and then, if you have not gotten into painting telephone poles or, uh, you know, street lights or something like that, you really should. They're so much fun to paint. Um, but we'll move on. So this is uh, at the, the Japanese gardens. We spent, this is 4th of July. We spent about an hour and a half here. Um, had some people walking by, so it wasn't the most comfortable, that's for sure, but um, there's that. Um, and then here, this is a uh, bit of a sketchier sketch. Uh, so I went in with uh, paint first, and then anything I didn't accomplish, I went back and did it in ink. So there's that. We've got a really <laughs> kind of crummy looking willow. If we just cut the top off, I like that bit of it. <laughs> um, and then this one I didn't even, like it fades off on the top. Um, so this is the front of a, a house. Um, they have got this like really weird like statue setup thing. We're, we're staying, we're staying upright. Um, here we've got some cone flowers. The wildflowers are my favorite part of the Midwest in the summer. So I wanted to make sure I got out and painted those while they were out. 
Um, I really like, again, the contrast is really what I was working on here, and it just... Like, they're not the most perfect paintings ever, but they were doing what I needed them to do, and it was just, it was so much fun to work in this. Uh, this is one of my other favorites in the sketchbook. Uh, so we went to the drive-in uh, movie theater. We watched Barbie this day, and uh, we had the most beautiful sunset. <laughs> and so as we were sitting there waiting for the sun to set so the movie could start, um, I painted it, and I just really love how it turned out. Um, some like detail sketches of some of the wildflowers. This was at one of our like local parks. Um, and then more out the window sketches. <laughs> you can see that again I did all the foreground kind of in just ink and Tombow marker and then painted the out the windshield. Um, and again I really like the effects this gives. These are some of my favorite sketches. Um, one more of those, just out the, the window, we've got the little bench under the tree. Um, again, just the contrast here. Just that, that's what I was going for. <laughs> and then this last page uh, is just, it was raining, <laughs> got all the rain on the windshield, or the, the window here, because this is the, the side view mirror. Um, so, didn't end on the best note, but you can see that it really does watercolor well. And uh, I'm missing that, so I am. So I finished this in September. That's the end of this. I finished this in September, um, and I have been painting in this one. So I'm back to a moleskin sketchbook. And the first thing I started doing was trying to paint like I was painting in this, um, because I was really enjoying it, and um, realized that you know I won't show you everything, but realized that this is the kind of work that really has to be done in the moleskins where it's mostly ink lines and then we'll paint over that. Um, so we're working on it, getting back into painting in that one. Uh, but I really loved this. I, if you're looking for uh, a sketchbook to, to travel with, I would check out Jesco Sketching. He's got, you can essentially pick your size, the color, the band color, um, honestly, if you're going to order something from him, order one of these. Uh, it is absolutely a lifesaver. I think I talk about it in like every video I've ever made. Um, but uh, just go sketching on uh, Etsy. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm about halfway through the uh, Moleskin sketchbook I'm working on. So we'll see when the next one comes out. But thank you for joining me. If, first of all, if you've made it this far, oh my goodness, thank you. Uh, but if let me know where you would like to go inside the United States. So if you had one place, continental USA, that you wanted to go to, let me know in the comments. Um, I think that might be fun. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Thanks.